Good morning. My name is Sally Chambers and together with Julie M. Burkholtz um, from the KBR Royal Library of Belgium and Ghent Centre for Digital Humanities, today we're going to share some of the work that we've been doing regarding data level access to both born digital and digitised collections, integrating this with a labs approach at KBR Royal Library of Belgium. We've been very much uh, inspired by the U United States initiative, Collections as Data, both the initial phase, or always already computational, and the implementation phase, part to whole. Here you can see um, a number of the reports that um, could be very valuable if you're inspired to undertake Collections as Data. Combining the Collections as Data approach, we've been working with labs. So what are labs? places of scientific experimentation, but what does this mean in the context of humanities research? Can we consider libraries as the, labor as the laboratories of the humanities? And if libraries are the laboratories of the humanities, could they be a locus for innovation and experimentation? We've also been working together with the International GLAM, Galleries, Libraries, Archives and Museums, Labs Communities, and maybe the Open a GLAM Lab book, which is a practical implementation of how to implement both collections as data and labs initiative in cultural heritage institution may be of interest. The open access book is available from this link. Now I will pass over to Julie, who will tell you more about the initiatives at KBR. Thank you. So at KBR, we have a number of growing research labs and projects. Today, we're only mentioning here a few which specifically um, are seeking to implement web uh, data from the web archive and the social media archive. That's the Digital Research Lab, which is focusing on facilitating text and data mining on the digitized and born digital collections. Camille, which is a research center in digital archives dedicated to the history of journalism in Belgium and datacabir.be, facilitating data level access to Cabir's collection for open science. Uh, in a moment, we'll also present to you the two web archiving and social media archiving projects. Um, these are important as key to facilitating this research, uh, key to implementing the data um, from the web archive and social media is of course facilitating research. And we do that through these labs initiatives. One aspect um, that we're considering in the web archiving projects is accessibility and how to ensure uh, that it's fair. Um, not only making it available on our catalog, uh, but also figuring out other ways to give access to users and researchers. As I had just mentioned, we have two web and social media archiving projects at the Caviar. First, PROMISE, preserving online multiple information towards a Belgium strategy of the web. This started in the 2017 um, and finished two years ago, um, which aimed to develop a federal strategy for preservation of the Belgian web. And secondly, Be Social. This is a two-year research project that aims to set up a sustainable strategy for archiving and preserving social media on the web. Uh, currently, PROMISE, so PROMISE again was the web archiving initiative, is available through the catalog, but we're working on a plan to set up a physical server in the Caviar reading room that would allow data level access to these collections on password entry, um, where researchers and users could not only view these collections, but hopefully in the future also be able to analyze them um, right there within Caviar's reading room. Uh, but before we get to those big hopes and dreams of giving access, uh, we also, um, at the close of the Be Social project, will have an automated weekly dashboard for the social media archive. And that means this is a dashboard that will be updated automatically of the most popular hashtags, top tweeters, and visualizations of these top tweets. Um, in regarding cultural heritage on social media in Belgium. 
So here you can see a mock-up of what collections as data could look like um, at KBR. For this, for this example, this was the mock-up provided for the B Social project related to various different social media collections. If you look closely, you'd be able to see that you can download, for example, the various Twitter account information via various different data set forms. And this can be extended, as Julie was saying, to all types of KBR's collections, whether they be digitized newspapers, um, uh, the bibliography, the Belgian bibliography, or web and social media archiving. Thanks very much.